Good morning dear students welcome to Narayana live classes today i am going to explain 28th rated assignment topic is why do we fall ill now let's see question number 1 what is that what are the common organisms that are infectious agents so what are the common organisms mostly microbes or the microorganisms are the infectious agents which actually spread the diseases now let's see question number 2 diseases where microbes are the immediate causes are called dash diseases so what are those diseases where microbes are the immediate cause those diseases are termed as infectious diseases okay now let's see question number 3 question number 3 is why microbes are said to be responsible for infectious diseases let's see the answer answer is this is because the microbes can spread in the community and the diseases they cause will spread with them the best example is corona yes we know that it is caused by a virus and it can spread it is actually spreading very easily so we have to be very careful so that's why microbes are said to be responsible for the infectious diseases okay because they spread very fast in the community and when they spread they spread the disease now let's see question number 4 what are the diseases that are not caused by infectious agents okay so those diseases which are not caused by any infectious agent that means any microorganism those diseases are termed as non infectious diseases why they are termed as non infectious because they will not spread from one person to the other person that is why they are called as non infectious diseases now question number 5 most of the cancers are caused by dash so most of the cancers are caused by genetic abnormalities what is the meaning of genetic abnormalities that means there is some defect in the genes genes which are a part of our dna present inside the nucleus of the cell okay so due to the genetic abnormalities cancers are caused question number 6 high blood pressure can be caused by excessive dash and lack of dash so high blood pressure can be caused by excessive weight and lack of exercise if we have excess of weight and we are not doing the exercise there is the chances of high blood pressure now let's see question number 7 cancers and high bp are dash diseases okay so cancers and high bp are non infectious diseases that means they cannot spread from one person to another person because they are not caused by any microorganism let's see question number 8 what did people think about peptic ulcers okay the ulcers of the stomach what people think about them so answer is everybody thought that a stressful life stressful life led to the secretion of lot of acid okay lot of acid secretion in the stomach which eventually cause the peptic ulcer so this is the thinking of the people that due to stressful life lot of acid is secreted which results in peptic ulcers but let's see the real cause what is responsible for peptic ulcers so two australian made two australian basically australian scientists they made a discovery that a bacteria named helicobacter pylori helicobacter pylori it was responsible for the peptic ulcers that was not because of the secretion of excess of acid or any stressful life that is because of the bacterium name helicobacter pylori so that is the real cause of the peptic ulcers now let's see question number 10 is peptic ulcer a chronic disease so the answer is peptic ulcer is 
no longer a chronic disease why because it is caused by a bacterium so frequently disabling condition but a disease that can be cured okay that can be cured by a short period of treatment with antibiotics so since this disease peptic ulcer is caused by a bacterium and that bacterium can be killed by the antibiotic so that's why it is no longer a chronic disease which lasts for long period of time it can be cured within a short period of time so it is no longer a chronic disease so students i hope you have understood today's answers very well thank you for watching thank you